Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Fat Guy Gamer, aka Army of the Dead, with another Let's Play Call of Duty multiplayer. Now, I am not doing the webcam on this one, uh, simply because I'm lazy right now and don't want to have to set it all up again. Uh, I was not intending to do this, but I actually realized the OHM gun is actually just dropped for Call of Duty, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a spin here, and you guys are going to watch me do it. So. We got the werewolf variant right here, and we got the original one right here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump in. I have not played with this gun as of yet. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and take a look, and then tomorrow I will will be when I do the uh, it will be when I do the last campaign mission on veteran with the intel locations for you guys. So if you're expecting that, sorry, this one's not it. Uh, this one is just multiplayer. But as you can see, I do have all the armor on right now. Let me go to my operator real quick to take a look. Now these are all the uh this is all the items that you get from doing the veteran campaign with the uh with the intel location so you get the atlas campaign exo which is right there pretty badass you get the boots the uh i mean we don't have the boots yet i don't think i have the boots yet you get the knee guards which are those right there in front you get the pants pretty bad the gloves you get the atlas campaign gloves which is just your pure black standard Get the Atlas campaign loadout, which is one of the better ones. The only one I like more than that is the Atlas uh, military police loadout, but I have it on my Xbox, not this one. You get the Atlas campaign shirt, and then you get the uh, the final one's the helmet, which I don't have right now, so I'm just wearing this Sentinel Intel helmet because it looks pretty bad. The rest of the helmets don't really look, don't really look that great, so I'm wearing this one. And then I will have that tomorrow, though, after I finish the veteran campaign with the intel locations. I will have the full loadout. The full loadout looks really sick together. And then I wear, you don't actually get anything for I wear. So, now that I showed you guys all that, let's go ahead and get started. Now, again, we're going to go hardcore domination. La Gauss, La Gauss, La Gauss, La Gauss. Hardcore domination. Domin domination, baby. Now, and this one's also just going to be about a half hour to 45 minutes. Um, I don't have the time today to really do a, to really do a full hour. So we're going to go ahead and start with the, uh, with the uh, werewolf. All right. So it's the left. It's left on the D-pad to. Uh, it's left on the D-pad to switch it to shotgun, to LMG, and back again. So, go ahead and try this werewolf out. Owie. Let's put the shotgun back away for now. Oh, I don't even know where that came from. UAV is online. Enemy taking B. Lost B. Okay, here we go. Enemy has B. Son of a dick. Alright, anytime I try out a new weapon, you gotta give me at least a little bit of leeway to get the hang of it. This gun isn't like anything I've tried before as of yet, so. Just bear with me. I'll get the hang of it. I'll, I will get the hang of it. You just gotta, you just gotta give, me, give me time here. I'm normally an assault class or, or SMG class guy. Maybe the shotgun every once in a while, but rolling with LMG is a new, it's a new feel for me. So bear with me here. There we go. God damn! He's bombing the holy hell out of that. God damn it! Should be invisible to the walker tanks. I don't know if they're shooting at one of my buddies or not. God damn. I had to get a quick draw grip on this thing. If they got it. I mean, that slow draw is bugging the hell out of me. I'm used to being able to snap up real quick. Yeah, I'm used to being able to snap to snap down the sights as quick as my 
trigger fingers pressed down on the buttons and this thing has a noticeable delay on it. Apparently you can uh Apparently you can double tap X. Hold on. To a quick reload. I'm gonna give it a try here now. You apparently lose lose some ammo. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, the standard reload is right there. Now let me double tap X. It's a little bit quicker, and apparently you lose the ammo that you still had left in the mag before you lost it, or before you reloaded. So, I mean, it's not that noticeable of a... It's not that noticeable of a uh, of a difference in the reload speeds. However, it might be better in the long run. I mean, if you and somebody are uh, one on one, in, oh, I just mowed down my own dude. Sorry, dude. But if you got somebody popping around the corner, it might be worth the couple, the like second or half second that you uh, gain from it. God damn it. These dudes are everywhere. Enemy UAV online. Yeah, it might be worth the half second it takes you that you save on the reload there. At the same time though you do lose the ammo, so. So it may not be worth it either, like. I mean, I, I normally run out of ammo. Once I get the hang of this gun, I'll probably end up using it until it's out of ammo. Let's try the shotgun out. I'm gonna roll straight shotgun right now. Just see what happens. Yeah, that shotgun didn't do so well there, but... I don't know, maybe I'm just using it wrong. That helped me out. Felt pretty good to mow that guy down. And again. Man, everybody's got this gun out here tonight. Woo! This is a lot of shooting at the OK Corral. Nah, I'm not, uh... I'm not caring too much about the uh, game itself, the flags and whatnot. I mean, like I said, this one's not for me to try hard at. This one's for me to give this gun a serious go. So that's my number one concern, is just give this gun a go. So that's what I'm doing. You got this gun too. Incoming enemy package. UAV ready. Okay. So this next uh, this next mission that I go into, it's not going to be like half over when I get into it. I'm going to do the first half with this uh, werewolf, and then I'm going to throw up the uh, second half on the regular and kind of compare the two. So nine and seventeen. <laughs> That's terrible, awful, terrible. But again, like I said, gave me a little bit of a leeway to get used to the damn thing. Like I said, I don't normally do LMGs at all. This is my first real give a go. New splat drop. Mm, not bad. All professionals. So I'm gonna do the first. Uh... I don't want to show you that. All right, I'll show you that. Point seven five accuracy. Point one one. Win loss is 0.6. Score per minute is 278. Well, that was terrible.
I don't remember playing last week, but okay. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try out this. I'm gonna do the werewolf for the first half of the of the uh, round match, whatever, and then I'm gonna switch to the original OHM for the second half and compare the two by that. Cause yeah, the only uh, the biggest difference. Wait, is that? Well, okay, so I you guess you're you're getting in on a variable scope and replacement for two accuracy points. Eh, that's harsh. So this one's supposed to be more more mobile, less accurate. This one than the original. And I did see a couple comparisons before this came out, just by somebody who'd been uh, who'd been given it earlier, and they did compare the uh, accuracy on it. And the original one has a lot less spread than the werewolf. But apparently it also moves a hell of a lot slower, so it's uh it's interesting. So basically the werewolf's made for one for running and gunning and the original is made to be an actual LMG you know, slow and steady support. So Alright, so we're gonna run the werewolf here and then I'll switch over to the other one after. God damn it. Ow. And so this one I'm gonna do kind of try hard status. I'm actually gonna try and give it a go and see how this goes. And then we'll go from there. So this isn't me just dicking around trying to test out a gun. This is me actually trying to do good with this. Fuck you with this gun. That was bullshit. That guy just popped out of nowhere. What the fuck are you doing, huh? Yeah, that's right. Shoot him. He's the one that shot you. The hell is that? Securing B. Ow. Ow. Alright, this this draw time framing down the sights is freaking ridiculous. That was kinda ridiculous. Ow. That guy's wanting revenge for me killing him. Ah. Don't get in my way, Buzz. What the hell? That was friendly. I got kicks. Team killing and all that. Okay, you know what? Since I didn't make it to the second half, I figure that's enough time. Let me go ahead and switch over to the original OHM and see how I handle that. Now, guys, I don't normally team kill. I'm not that kind of a douchebag. I don't do that. That ain't me. That time I team killed just because that one guy been sitting there. I don't. I yeah, he has a sniper rifle and he's just sitting there. But honestly, it's like if he'd followed me out, he could have gotten more kills than if he just sat there. I don't do well with campers unless they have a sniper rifle. And even if they do have a sniper rifle, they have to justify it. like you got one sight line there. Camp in a place where you have multiple. It doesn't make sense. And then. Second guy I team killed, it was an accident, he ran in front of me and then he killed me again, so I felt like being an asshole and just getting kicked. So that that's that's why I team killed, so don't don't 
Don't think I'm a team killer because I'm not a team killer. I'm really not. I, I do good things. I do good things. I'm all about that life. About that life. Okay. Original. It's a pretty gun. Securing Alpha. Enemy has Charlie. Alpha secure. Man, the draw time is even worse than the werewolf. Too bad, but I mean, you pretty much have to anticipate where the enemy's gonna be and be aiming down the sights already. I mean, like I said, the uh, the draw on this thing is atrocious. Once I get a quick draw on it, it'll probably be a lot better. But for now, this thing. But for now, this thing ain't worth its weight. Like, it's a nice gun. The concept is decent. It's great. And, you know, you have to use it to get the good shit. And once you get the good shit, you can, you know, use it. But for right now, for right now, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep using it because I want to get the quick draw sight and give it a go. Like. This gun seems like it's decent enough, it deserves a fair chance. Enemy taking Charlie. Lost Charlie. Enemy has Charlie. And so I'm gonna give it the go it deserves, but I'm just saying like as it stands right now, it doesn't feel like it can really I mean heck the spray on it just with uh the spray on it just as an LMG basically does everything that it would do, that the shotgun part does. a minute. Okay, I'm gonna save my care package and stuff for that minute. Securing Bravo. Losing Bravo. Lost B. Enemy Got him. <laughs> Securing B. We're winning this fight. Enemy assault Ow. incoming. Losing Alpha. Lost 
God damn. Ah oh, ha ha By one point. And that was the final kill. Fuck you. Sludge faced. Hardcore domination. Capture and defend the flags. Securing C. We lost A. The changeover from shotgun to S to LMG is actually fairly quick. I'm actually surprised at how quick the switch occurs. God damn, I thought I was out of there. That was a friendly grenade. What the fuck, guys? Incoming enemy care package. Securing Bravo. Enemy UAV above. Securing B. Enemy Goliath inbound. Securing Bravo. Securing B. B secure. Enemy taking Bravo. Orbital care package on stamp. Remote turret ready for deployment. Enemy has Bravo. Securing me. Marking care package coordinates. Launching care package. Securing A. Our UAV is online. Losing Charlie. Lost C. A secure. Land turret available. Enemy taking Alpha. Enemy has C. Friendly tram gunner overhead. Paladin above. Oof. Enemy has God damn it, Paladin raining hell. Okay, so I should have gotten some stuff out of this so far. I do have to say though, the werewolf, for as being as awesome as it is, or more for picking as awesome of a name as it did, it is kind of weak sauce compared to its original. Ow. Douche dick. Ow. 
You know, the shotgun aspect of it is awesome. Like, you really do basically cover all bases with this gun. You got your LMG, which can handle long range. You got your shotgun to handle the close. You know, it's the best of two. It's the exact opposites, but the best of two worlds. You just gotta, I guess, learn how to use it. I'm still learning. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not no expert on this gun by any means. I'm not. I don't know. Like, I'm not like, oh, the best of the best. This is the best thing ever. But you know, for for what it's worth, it is a good gun. If you got the season pass, I highly recommend grabbing that gun and using it. Like the shotgun aspect is great for clearing out rooms fast. The LMG aspect is great for range and just putting lead down range. Put enough lead around range and you're guaranteed to rack up the kills. Yay, module three. God damn. Okay, I gotta back out. That's so much crap. Tag 19 uppercut. Damage and accuracy are up. Range and mobility are down. That's not bad. It's actually not bad at all. So let's see what I get for this. I got the red dot sight. Ah, quick draw grip. You know what? I'm going to clear out my entire secondary for that. Laser sight. Hit fire kills go up. Let's clear out both grenades. So I'm going to do this. And we'll throw on a red dot. There we go. Now I don't need a second there. I don't need an XO ability. I don't need an XO launcher. I, my my gun is my friend. So I'm actually gonna do the same thing here with this one. So I'm gonna toss that. That I'm gonna get rid of those. Add a new one, and we're gonna throw on the laser sight. Oh, and I believe yep. Cryptic. And um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, one last game to show the uh, to show it with attachments and see what this quick draw grip can do. And we'll go from there. So, oh, I do. I like that actually. I'm going to keep that. I don't like the emblem, though. Honestly, that was just something I threw on there real quick. Man, I don't have that many emblems to work with anyway. No wonder. So. I do like that player card, though. Some text will stick to your enemy. No way! I can't believe it. It's like it's like not even possible. Possible. Oh well. Who cares if it's a possible? Yeah, let's give the werewolf a go with the uh, quick draw. Capture and defend the flags. Let's see how this does. Alpha secure. Oh, much better. Ah, oh, you douche. I'm switching my shotgun. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Securing C. Securing Bravo. MLG right there. Ah. Okay, so it's a much better gun now. Much better. The quick draw just completely took everything I didn't like about this gun out of the equation.
I mean, its recoil is atrocious, is terrible still, but honestly, with an M with an LMG, that's to be expected, especially with this one. I mean, the whole purpose of this gun is to get a uh, make it faster but less accurate. So I expected this thing to bounce like a motherfucker. And it is. It is just bouncing. It's bouncing good. Oh, I forgot to add my third module. Son of a douche. God damn, I should've jumped down there. Yeah, with the quick draw grip, this gun is everything you want it to be. Securing B. I've heard people say, oh no, this weapon attachment combo is the best, or no, this weapon attachment combo is the best, but in all actuality, no. Honestly, I think what I got right now is probably the best, well, at least two of the, you'll definitely want quick draw because the uh, aim down the sight is pretty atrocious on the stock model. I mean, it is terribly, terribly atrocious. So you'll probably want a quick draw for that, for the LMG aspect. You'll want the laser sight for the, uh, for the hip fire, or the, uh, shotgun aspect of it. Losing B. When you're running the shotgun, it helps to be able to, to aim down the hip and, uh, aim accurately. Or to fire from the hip and actually be more accurate. Um, the red dot sight doesn't really help me out any more than the iron sights does, but I don't get the red dot sight for that. Honestly, I get it just because I can see the bottom half of where my gun's aiming. So I can adjust my aim a little bit easier. Enemy taking A. We lost A. There we go. Enemy has alpha. When you don't have the iron sights, the bottom half of your gun takes up the bottom half of your screen with the with iron Enemy sights. Taking Bravo. And I don't like that, because if somebody pops up over my head, or somebody pops up underneath where I'm aiming, or if I'm aiming up at this ledge here and somebody's underneath me. Ow. Man, this, this shotgun has a long, long lifespan. And I'm actually going to change this loadout. I want to see how the stock model does this. Cool, lightweight. Care package inbound. I did not mean to stay in shotgun. Alright, you get it, it's yours. Anyway, so as I was saying, get quick draw for the aim down the sight aspect of the LMG. Get the red dot for the hip firing with the uh, with the shotgun version. And then I'll, I'd have to take a look and see what other achievements or what other attachments one has, because I know it doesn't have a silencer because it is a directed energy weapon. Directed energy weapons can't be silenced, and I know it's uh, and I know it doesn't have a foregrip option because gun itself kind of comes with a built-in foregrip. So I, I know those two things are there. So I don't I, I don't know what else it does or does not have. I know it has all the sights. Uh, target finder might be helpful. I don't know if it depends on how good of a sight you have at a long distance. I used it on my standard definition TV on my Xbox 360 just because I couldn't see everybody at a long distance with the target finder. I could because it looked like a Christmas tree. So, I don't know. That, that one might be beneficial to you if you don't, uh, if you don't have a decent TV. But if you're playing on PlayStation 4, you've got a decent TV. You can't have a non-decent TV with a PlayStation 4. What? Ah, uh, was too low. That I can't even call bullshit on that one. That one was my bad. I was shooting way too low. Here, let me finish your job for you.
Warbird support requested. Friendly assault drone inbound. Warbird assistance requested. Securing A. Warbird support requested. Alpha secure. Losing C. Friendly UAV above. Taking B. We lost B. Enemy has Bravo. Your team controls a laser air defense system. Front security Bravo. B secure. UAV ready. And this guy's the hammer. Losing B. I mean, for the several flaws it has. The attachments completely make up for that. I mean, just the fact that I can have a quick draw grip on this, so that it doesn't take me that long to actually aim down the sights. That is freaking just OP right there. Now I don't play core. I don't play hardcore. But I've also, but from what I've seen in core, it's about a three-shot kill from any range. Now that's both good and bad. The bad is that that includes headshots. So headshots are weakened. So I'll take three headshots at any range to kill. Now with the now at the same time though, that's amazing at the long range. If you're trying to get long shots, you can just milk that. So yeah, I mean for all the flaws it has, every every oh, there's attachments to counteract. So, I mean, this is a great gun. Give it a try for yourself if you got it. If not, get the season pass. I mean, come on, you get the, you get the Widowmaker. You got Exo Zombies. You save money by having the season pass compared to buying the map packs individually. I mean, I don't know why anybody would not get the season pass. This is great. You get two guns. You get zombies. You get maps. Any reason you can double with to not get the map packs, I can counteract with just this. Two guns. Widowmaker, OHM. Four four maps per pack. Two packs so far. And Exo Zombies. Which is a whole new step for zombies. Like, zo Call of Duty Zombies has been awesome in the past. That's the, one of their biggest seller. But the Exo Zombies takes to a whole new level. So, seriously, guys, get the. Uh, Get the map pack, get the season pass. This is definitely worth playing. Especially because by the time everybody else gets the map pack, if they're buying them per pack, you already have you can already have six different variants of this gun. Or you can already have this gun completely maxed out, all the camos, all the attachments. And then when it actually comes out, you can just milk every single one of the uh You can just milk that every single one of the other variants that come out after this. Like the Widowmaker, they've got a uh, they got a variant on the Widowmaker for LMG. They got the one that comes with the Widowmaker is uh, the A4. The A4 is an assault rifle. The Widowmaker is an, an SMG. They have other variants that are making an LMG and a sniper rifle. And I mean, there's just so many variants on each of these guns too. Honestly, you're shooting yourself in the foot if you don't get the season pass. But 2519, that's feeling a bit more like it. Now I need to get a couple more attachments for this. Um, I'm going to back out, I'm going to adjust my, I'm going to go ahead and adjust my uh, score streaks, I have the third module on there. So let me back out, create a class, let's trap that son of a bitch, let's get a 360 degree head, whoops. And let's make you orbital so it can't be shot down. Okay. Now let's see. Autofocus, target enhancer, thermal, ACOG. All three of those would be great. Rapid fire. Now that would probably kick some ass. That would be great to have. Advanced rifling. That would also be great to have. Just being able to mow them down from a longer distance away. Rapid fire and increase the firing rate altogether. Which the firing rate is not that bad. It's actually really great. Tracker. 
Um, if I remember right, tracker lights them up if you hit them. That's that's actually helpful, but that's more of a core thing. Same with the parabolic microphone. The reason why I don't want to use that is just because I don't play on core. Those are both core things. Extended mags, that would be helpful. It's about 40 rounds per mag for both the shotgun and the LMG. And then the stock, move faster, roll me down the sights. That could help you if you're using the shotgun more than the LMG. I'm not, so I'm going to leave it as the sight right now. I don't use the hybrid sight. The only sights I use are red dot and... Tra and uh, target enhancer so but I mean that's it. that gun is great if you guys don't have it I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit here from uh, this is my third broadcast of the day my first two you can watch my past broadcast here on Twitch or on my YouTube channel to find the link for that go to my Twitch profile but this is a great gun to have I'm gonna do more more of these multiplayer sessions with it and I will broadcast them as well uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop it here I'm at 41 minutes so I'm planning on doing a 30 minute thing so, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop it here. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. Uh, this has been Fat Guy Gamer, a.k.a. Army of the Dead. Follow me here on Twitch if you like what you saw for more. Subscribe to my YouTube channel it's for uh, past Let's Plays. I've done The Last of Us. I'm also doing the campaign for this on Veteran and all Intel locations. So, feel free to subscribe and follow me to watch the rest of those and pass broadcasts as well. And always remember, if I'm on, I'll be broadcasting.